the definition of destination shifts. So we start out by my, my destination is I'm going to get to a certain weight and done, arrived. And my concept through going through this with community of like-minded people has shifted to my destination is the continuation of learning and growing in a way that gives, gives me so much. As Frankly, to- what is life if we think we're done at some point? All right, now I'm done. We, I'm 65. People talk about retirement around my age. They talk about things like that. What does retirement look like to you? That's the kind of question that I hear. And for me, there's a fear among some that if I retire, I'll sit in my chair and never get off the couch and I will not be living anymore. And that's a possibility. But that's where the idea of being done can lose its luster. When you consider the the gifts of new awareness, the gifts of new knowledge, the gifts of those underlying things that felt scary five or six years ago to explore are now comfortable because we have trusted community, because we have resonance with our friends. We have trusted people we can talk to and talk out these things where before we were stuck. They were stuck in a time capsule inside of our gut. And it's a process, Sonia, because we do start out that way. We're often in, I am so tired of this, but I've done this for so long and I'm so tired of it. I don't think that's uncommon. I think our resistance is, and it just looks impossible to pass through those stages. We have seen people pass through those stages and move into a different way of looking and approaching things. We've seen it. We can... We have people we can point to and say, this is where they are now. This is where they were. This is where they are now. So we're not just talking off the top of our heads. We're talking from experience for ourselves, us walking the walk and seeing others who have and are continuing to walk this walk. That's what we're talking about. It's a true gift to be able to explore all the things and release the fear or recognize it as fear and allow that fear to sit in the passenger seat and accompany us with curiosity and faith and hope. And purpose. It's beautiful. Life-giving.